In this lesson, we will see matrices and determinants. We will start with the 2x2 two two matrix with an example and also go forth to see the 3x3 three three matrix with another example. That said, let's get into class. Now, if I have a 2x2 two two matrix, let's say matrix A equals A11, A12, A21, and A22. This is a good way to represent the 2x2 two two matrix. First, why is this matrix a 2x2 two two matrix? It's a 2x2 two two matrix because it has two rows, row 1 and row 2, and also has two columns. So a 2x2 two two matrix has two rows by two columns. Now, for me to find the determinant of this matrix, the determinant of a matrix is denoted with a bar across the matrix. So I represent this as A11, A12, A21, and A22. Now, for the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix, I'll simply multiply the major diagonal, which is my A11, multiplied by A22 minus A12 multiplied by A21. Now the result of this will give me the determinant of matrix A. Now let's take for example if I have a matrix B which is equals to 6, 5, 1 and 2. I'm required to find the determinant of matrix B. The determinant of matrix B will come from the determinant of 6, 5, 1, 2. Obviously, this will be the same thing as we we'll multiply the major diagonal, which is 6 and 2, minus the minor diagonal as equals to 6 times 2 minus 5 times 1. This will be equals to 6 times 2 is 12 minus 5, which is equals to 7. Now, let's see how to deal with a 3 by 3 matrix. Now, the 3x3 three three matrix, typically if I have matrix A, which is given as A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. Now, if I have matrix A, as we can see, now, what I'll do is, I'll tag each of the first row, the elements of the first row, and attach a sign to them. The first will be positive, the next will be negative, and the next also will be what? Positive. Now, if after attaching a sign, I have formed a cofactor of this matrix, I have formed cofactors of this matrix. For A11, my determinant of matrix A will come from I'll pick A11, which is the first element, and is positive. Pick it in line of its column and in line of its row. Every item that falls out of the row and the column of A11 becomes a part of its cofactor. So it becomes A22, A23, A32, and A33 minus the determinant of a peak A12 because A12, if you look at it carefully, I have the sign to be negative. Now, the items out of this is a line of A12. The items out of that line is A21, A31, A23, and A33. That will be A21, A23, A31. A3 plus A13 into A21, A22, A31, and A32. Now, with this, you can see 
I have picked the cofactors of each element. Now let's take an example. We have to find the determinant of this matrix. Interpret it as A, determinant of matrix A. Attach the sign of positive here. Here will be negative. Here will be what? Positive. Now I'll pick the line of the first one, that is matrix 1, that's plus 1. That will be the determinant of. Here is a column. And here is a row. What is out of that column is 5, 7, 4, and 8. Next element will be my minus 3. And if you look at it, it's still in that same row, but this is the column. What is out of that column and that row is 4, 7, 2, and 8. Then I have plus 2. Then I can pick the column still in that same row. But what is out of that column will be 4, 5, 2, and 4. Now, the determinant of matrix A, obviously, will come from 1 into 40 minus 28 minus 3 into 4 times 8 now becomes 32 minus 14 plus 2 into 4 times 4, that's 16 minus 10. So that the determinant of matrix A will come from 1 into 40 minus 28, I think that's 12, minus 3 into 32 minus 14, that's 18, plus 2 now into 6 minus 10. 6. So that the determinant of matrix A will come from 1 times 12, that's 12, minus 30, minus 3 times 18, that's minus 54, and plus 2 times 6, that's plus 12. So that the determinant of matrix A will be the same thing as 12 minus 54, that's minus 42, plus 12, minus 42, Plus 12, that will be the same thing as minus 30. So that the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix is given as minus 30. With this, I hope you know how to work with matrices and determinant, especially when it comes to 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrices. In case you have questions, please don't hesitate to use our comment section. Thank you for staying with us and see you in our next class.